Hi everybody, how are you today? Um, I'm just hopping on to tell you real quick my personal tips and tricks for going in long car rides with my kids. Now I start off by packing a book bag. I get this book bag uh, when it goes on sale uh, or around the back to school time. And we put in various things. I let them choose their uh, toys, coloring books. Uh, I always make sure they have their binder books. I make sure that they have snacks in there. I make sure that they have their waters with them at all times. Um, each one of my kids have a hand sanitizer. And I just stick that in there so they have that with them at all times. Um, but about these binder books. I got this idea off of Pinterest, and I have been in love with it. I've been doing them for a few years now. Um, but what I do is I just get a binder, and I get the paper covers, the sheet covers. And I go, and like our library has printed off papers, or I find some, and I print them off, and... Or I make them and I make it anything fun, anything educational that they may need to be learning with. And I just slip them in here. And then you can use actually just plain dry erase markers. So you take your dry erase markers, you mark on it, and then it wipes right off, no issues. And what I love most about this is that instead of el laminating them, I just did the paper covers. I can just take them out and replace them as needed. So that has been a very huge help. It's great for when we go into like restaurants or anything because then my kids aren't sitting on their tablets, but they're not bored and they're actually doing something that helps them learn and educate them and they have fun with it. Another thing we have is uh, blankets. We keep blankets in our car at all times. But my kids also got blankets from my mother-in-law that have a hood on it. And it has little arms. And so this works great, especially when it's kind of cold outside. Because I don't have my kids in um, coats when they are sitting in their car seats. So I strap them in and then I just put this over them. They don't have to worry about... Uh, being getting too hot while they're in the car because they can just take the blanket off when they are. Another good thing is I don't have to worry about their seats being too loose or anything like that. Plus when we go in and out like from like a point A to point B with car to the store or whatever it may be we're doing, they don't need to worry about having their winter coat or a heavy coat. All they need to do is just put this on real quick and it wraps around them and they walk in and they're nice and warm and they enjoy being in them. So that's what we do. Um, another thing I have in here for my kids is toothbrush and toothpaste. Now I did this along with a baggie, I got like a Ziploc freezer bag. And I filled this with an extra pair of socks an extra pair of, um, like, PJs, an outfit, uh, whatever you feel like your kids would need. It, you know, you never know. They may need it for, um, say they are having a spur-of-the-moment sleepover at a family member or a friend's house. You don't have to worry about going home, packing, or what have you. You just have it on hand. Another good reason to have them in there is because... If you have younger kids, they may spill something on them, they may have an accident, uh, or they just may cause for a different change. Maybe you're going somewhere that they need to have a little nicer outfit or what have you. Um, so yeah, those are good to have on hand as well. Um, so... I also do the snack things. I know I mentioned the snack things. 
I like to get my kids involved with what I put in their bags because I feel like the more you get them involved, the more likely they're going to want to use it or eat it or whatever the case may be. So I let them pick out some snacks. I have their cups on hand and they have their sticker books, their binder books, their tablets. It just makes car rides a lot easier for us. Um, so that's stuff I would highly recommend. But these are some things that we do with our kids that we find really work. We've been doing them for a few years now and we have had zero issues. And so I would highly recommend trying out some of these if you don't already. Uh, just make sure that you do get your kids involved. You let them pick out what they put in their book bags. You let them pick out their snacks within reason and really make them want to be doing something other than on their tablets or on their phone and just kind of make it fun. And then you always have this packed up and it can go to and fro with you wherever and it works out really well. So those are my tips I have for you today. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!